Craig, first of all, welcome to Dundee United Football Club here in Spain. How, how did the move first come about for yourself? Uh, it was just like last week, uh, last Tuesday, I uh, got the phone call off my agent saying there was interest and I'd spoke to Foxy a, a couple of times and as soon as I heard uh, they were interested, I, I just knew I wanted to come here. Yeah, you've worked with Liam Fox before, haven't you, at Livingston? What, what was the, the overall appeal to come to Dundee United? Just um, the size of the club, it's a massive club, um, great fans, um, great stadium and just the chance to play football. And at the carrot of European football is also lure as well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's a, a big chance to show what the team can do and what I can do as well. So I'm, I'm ready to go and uh, I can't wait to start. Yeah. I know you've only been here a few days. You talked out with the team on, on Sunday night. It was obviously an open secret that you were that the club were interested in, in signing you. But how have you found the facilities? How have you found the training over here? Uh, it's been good. It's been intense, uh, intense couple of days. But it's been it's been really enjoyable. The boys have been brilliant with me so far, and uh, hopefully I'll get to know them all a lot better. So uh, I'm just excited for the, the season ahead and the games to come. Yeah. What's it actually like playing and training in, in this heat? Oh, it's <laughs> it's it's hard. It's very intense, and as you can see, my face is a bit red. So um, no, it's it's hard, but it's good. It gets you up to match match speed. So you kind of need this. I think from the outside. Some people look at these, these trips as, as a, a, bo a bonding session and, and almost a jolly sometimes, but, but you guys have been doing triple sessions both days since you've been here. Exactly that. The uh, first two days has been triple sessions, so it's a lot of hard work and that's what you need to, for pre-season to get you ready for the, the season ahead. Do you feel it in the legs already? Feeling it in the legs already, I um, was kind of training myself before I came in, so I was trying to do stuff every day and uh, I feel no too bad, so hopefully I just get better and better. How easy or difficult is that when, when you're without a club at, at that time and, and trying to get yourself motivated for to get yourself fit when you're, you're not doing it as a, a squad or in a group? Uh, it's quite hard. That was kind of my first kind of like experience of that happening. Um, it felt like ages that I hadn't been with a team so it was, it was good to get in and get back training and getting a feel of the ball and that so I'm just raring to go. Yeah. Friendly against Port Vale tomorrow. Looking forward to that one? Looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting some minutes. Um, hopefully get a win and we can play well and just put across what the gaffer wants us to do. Yeah. And what have you, you, you made of the guys that are in the team? Really good, aye. <coughs> They're all, they've all been brand new with me, so um, it'll be good to just get to know how they play and they get to know how I play. Um, but it's been a really high standard and uh, long may it continue. Yeah. There's, there's been a real sign of intent from, from the club with names like uh, Stephen Fletcher joining yesterday and obviously Charlie and Tony Watt and that are here as well, but there's, there's a lot of big name players here. Uh, exactly that. There's a lot of big, big name players, like you said, and uh, great experience. Um, so it can only help the young boys in the team and help myself as well. Just everyone learning and try to the right things, and um, hopefully we can have a great season ahead. Yeah, those those players that we just just mentioned there, they, they really drive on all the youngsters, even the, the older heads as well. Uh, exactly that. Uh, like I said, just experience for the young boys, um, always learning and try to help each other and get each other better every day. You still learning yourself? Still learning myself, <laughs> um, 27 now, but hopefully I can give pointers out to some of the younger boys as well and like I said, we can all learn and do better for us, for the team. Yeah. I know we, we played against you when you were at Falkirk uh, a, few, a few years back when we were in the championship, but how would you describe yourself as a, a player to, to those that don't know you? Uh, I would say um, a good passer, uh, kind of box to box, and uh, try and be a quite creative, um, create chances, and then hopefully score some goals as well. Yeah. Craig, thanks for taking the time to speak to DUTV, and I hope your time here is an absolute success. Thanks very much.